Special. We're making fried chicken sandwiches, slaw, and baked potatoes. First things first, we gotta get the veggie option, which is um, aubergine. It's always good to have. Um, it's always good to have options. You never want to get yourself into a, you know, stuck into somewhere you got no way out. You think, you're ah, I'm trapped. Where do I go? Where do I go? You want to have options. Right, in that case, this option is aubergine a la pollo. Right, aubergine as chicken, and I'm just gonna salt them. That's gonna draw out the moisture, and when it comes to frying it, um, they'll be a lot like nicer. And I'm sure they will be a lot like nicer. Buttermilk. If you have any buttermilk, it's just milk and lemon. We've got a lemon here, got milk there. You know, no fancy business. That's starting to curdle already. I think that's good. So now on to the chicken. And I'm just gonna butterfly them. What this is gonna do is gonna let the, the buttermilk soak in to, to every piece easier. So, so it's gonna be a lot more tender and so it's gonna cook a lot quicker. Straight in there. Little milky bath. Oh god. It's a buttermilk brine. It's gonna break down all the proteins, make it a lot more tender. But, like tough when you bite into it, you don't want to be eating like a, a deep fried like sandal or something. Can you imagine that? Um, so we're just going to try and get a lot of flavour into there right now. A little bit of salt, you know, salt's always good. And I got this. Valentina salsa picante. And that means um, salsa, salsa hot. So It's like a chicken smoothie. And um, we're just gonna put that back in the fridge. What's next? Broth. Oh, it's all right. I think I'm gonna do some slaw now. Slaw. Um, so this is gonna be an apple and fennel slaw. A light, very light on the mayonnaise. I don't want it to be too mayonnaise-y. I want it to be more refreshing-y. Um, so I'm making five sandwiches worth, so probably one about that much. And I can have my famous cabbage breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> all that's gonna break up. It might, you might get a big piece, but all that's gonna break up when you, uh, you're just gonna mix it up nice like that. Next, two red apples. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take the middle bit out. Just a little triangle so I can do the bell. So that's going in there. Papers. Okay. Uh, put a little bit of the brine in. And uh, I'm also gonna just roughly chop some of them as well, just again, just because I can, and I've got the time. Um, who's excited for season two? Yeah. Roughly, roughly, roughly. That's going in. Next, uh, white rice vinegar, about that much. Next, mayonnaise. Use the smallest spoon you can find just to make the job extra difficult. Salt and pepper. Mm. Don't leave anything, that's perfect. Mm. And I was writing in my journal, just like, oh, I really just want to like have rum night. You can, you, can, you can call it rum diaries. So I was thinking, rum, I'm gonna do like a rum dressing. This is what we're gonna do now. I've got my rum, my garlic, my honey, my ginger, my thyme, my rosemary, and my last ingredient, half of an onion. I'm just gonna smell all that down into a nice yummy sauce. It's really sticky, I'm just gonna drizzle that on the chicken when it's fried. And the aubergine, of course. Ginger. 
I'm just gonna leave it whole. I'm not gonna store and peel it, I'm not gonna do anything like that. Uh, just because I cannot be bothered. Ginger, done. Garlic. Ugh. Ugh. Just gonna feel that. I like going for French butter. I'll do that. On it. So, that's done. Well, I really enjoyed that. A little bit of olive oil. Not too much. Just a little bit. Five tablespoons, I'd say. Onion going in. Again, just a little bit of salt just to help things on the way. Pong. Hello? Pong number. Back right, to cooking. Now, I'm going in one of my aromats. So that's my garlic. And my ginger. Au Jean Grey, if you're listening from France. And I'm gonna go with some rosemary. Just a little bit. Just about. Just about that much. And I'm also gonna put in some thyme. Just about that much. Flambe! Just let it cook. Some honey. This is gonna make it all sticky. And then some hot water. And that is going to be delicious. Just being like drizzled over the uh, the top of the chicken and the aubergine. All the flavours are there, and you know, it's not like out of the stores. If you're expecting like a store kind of uh, sauce, it's not that. So, right, I'm making a creme fraiche dressing instead of just like a normal mayo or like a ketchup. So just half a chili. I don't think it'll need much more than that. And then an avocado. Star of the show, creme fraiche. About one, maybe three bits. Four for good luck. As usual, our friends, salt and pepper. Pepper. Not too much salt. Yeah. Put the lime, put the drinks I made earlier. Yeah. Coriander. Yeah. That much. Now it's fucking sick. Doesn't it? It's alright. Right, all we're doing right now is waiting. For what? Who knows? <laughs> Oil's in the pan. Yeah. So, it's gonna be a, a flour, corn flour dredge. 10 handfuls. Maybe. You don't want as much corn flour. The corn flour is gonna help it get really crispy. Baking powder, if you add baking powder to anything you're frying, is gonna add a really nice color. Shippy, shiposh. So we're going to go in with some smoked paprika. I mean, yeah. Another quarter handful or? <laughs> this is just flavour. We're building. Yeah. Building flavours. Oh! Sorry. Oh, We've got our oil heated up. We've got a pan station. I'm just going to do the one pan A, just the flour fry. So I don't really think I can't be honest, I also don't have the stuff. Do the other stuff. Veggie stuff first. We're going to get the aubergines that have been drying out. We put them in this flour. Top. Shit. Take that out. Further. The buttermilk bath. Oh. So we have two hands. We have a wet hand and we have a dry hand. Wet hand. Dry hand, wet hand, dry hand. So that's just so they don't both get claggy, you know? Oh, you know what I mean. Of course you do. Oh. 
when you forget about the wet hand, dry hand thing, it doesn't matter. You can just go in with whatever hand you want. Alright, so I'm frying the chicken now. So I think this is nearly ready. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drain it off. I will just go to the biggest part of the chicken. Really good. Wow. Press the chicken in the rum sauce. Dun, dun. Bun. Down. Spoon. Green. Sauce. Too much. Cold sauce. Fully cooked piece of chicken breast. Just on. Just gonna get a few slices of this pre made cheese I made earlier. Put that on top like that. Goodness gracious. Oh, that was good, don't it? Mm. We ate it, we ate it. Good. The worms in it. It was good. And then uh, straight afterwards, you're like, bang. Right, dessert. We're having rum and burnt fire bananas. Peel your bananas. If you peel them from the bottom, you don't get the stringy bits. Getting a nice smoky caramelized day. Ooh, tastes like banana and sugar. Perfect. Oh yeah, I guess what it is. Oh yeah, I want your honest reaction. Oh. All in all, great evening, great friends, great food. That's the really special. It's not me, sexy, but it's special.